Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and share some tips on how to get the most out of this week and be successful with it. So first off, I'll talk about the importance of preparing. Preparing is the most important thing I find. You'll notice that you're in the kitchen way more this week than normal. And if you aren't prepared, you're way more likely to give in and not make it through. Uh, so let's say in the morning, uh, you're busy getting your kids ready and yourself ready. You have unwashed vegetables in the fridge and you still need to to make a juice or a smoothie. You really don't feel like washing lettuce or whatever other fruits or vegetables you're using. So instead you grab a muffin or a piece of toast. But if you wake up, uh, you know what you're making because you prepped it last night. You're not even thinking about a piece of toast. Uh, maybe your smoothie is made and in the fridge for you already. Or you have a Ziploc bag of all your vegetables and fruits ready, uh, ready to go in the juicer and with the juicer on the counter. Uh, so it might be a little bit more work in the evening or maybe the afternoon before, uh, but then it makes your day seem so much easier and you'll be able to stay on track and you won't even be thinking about um, cheating on the cleanse. The same goes with lunch. Uh, if you take time Sunday, I usually like to prep on Sunday, uh, or maybe even midweek, you might want to do a couple big preps uh, in that week. Um to do a, a huge pot of soup and then you'll have that soup ready in the fridge and you just have to warm it up and your lunch is there so you don't think about eating something else it's just ready to go super quick uh, so you can do a big prep on sunday i like to do a soup on sunday and some of the batches some of the recipes are make huge batches uh, some of them just make a smaller amount so you could even double it so just have a look at at the recipe um, and i also like to make a big salad generally for to go along with suppers uh, or the, a salad could even be snacks too you could have a regular snack and if you're still hungry you could have salad anytime uh, and veggie sticks I like to have ready for snacking uh, you could maybe do a dip like a homemade hummus if you have a food processor or a good blender that's easy to do or a guacamole I uh, have that all ready to go uh, guacamole doesn't stay fresh too long though so uh, if you you can make it the day of it's not too bad to make or even if you're in a rush you can just cut an avocado in half and sprinkle some spices on it so that's another little trick and that can be act as your dip to go with your veggies uh, so juicing ingredients or smoothie ingredients ready to go is another thing I have prepped I usually will wash up a bunch of lettuce spinach or kale I have that all ready you could buy the pre-washed stuff too um, have celery washed, cucumbers washed, and so I have all my juicing stuff either in like a huge zip, like a large Ziploc bag or in a bowl. Um, and if you're doing smoothies, you can have those things ready to go. You could do smoothie packs in the freezer or even smoothies are a little bit easier to, to do on the run because um, most of the stuff you can just grab frozen. So bananas, frozen fruit. Uh, with that, you want to have spinach and lettuce and and celery and cucumbers all ready to go to um, and you want to have some fruits washed or even just on the counter ready to go for snacking so the veggies ready uh, you could even make up another snack on the Sunday make up a batch of muffins or Lara bars just watch that uh, there's some Lara bars have cocoa or chocolate chips in it you'll want to skip that for this week you want to skip the added sugars and the um, caffeine from the the chocolate but they're still delicious with just the dates and nuts or seeds okay and either have some of the prep done for your supper or even just have it in your head um, what you want to eat so think about the recipes you want to make for your suppers you can have some of the stuff done like some of the vegetables washed or if you have that salad made that helps too um, or if not if you're not prepping your suppers have an idea especially for the next night what you're going to eat and then you're way less likely to to get off track Okay, so those are the main meal prep tips. I'll probably come on here a little bit later with some more tips on how to be, have a successful week, at, which can go on for after the week. Um, these tips work with, with later on how to continue with your success with healthy eating. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Bye.